when the narcissist meets a super empath. Narcissists target empaths. They love being around them. Because empaths want to please people. And they are also easy to please. They're more inclined to agree with a narcissist's demands or requests. They're more likely to overlook slights, impositions, or causes for offence. They believe that everyone has a good nature. They believe that everyone is kind. And they want to help people who are in need, especially vulnerable people or people who appear to be vulnerable. Empaths tend to have a history of being the victim when there was never anyone there to save or protect them. So it becomes very healing for them to be that person they never had in their lives which is why they will urgently try to help. The narcissist may be kind at this time and they won't judge the empath, which makes the empath feel like they can confide in the narcissist and trust them with their secrets. But by doing this, it makes the empath an easy target. It makes it easy for the narcissist to deceive and take advantage of the empath because their empathy causes them to get caught up in the narcissist's manipulation. Empaths tend to lack confidence in who they are or what they can do. They may feel unloved. They may feel inadequate. So they will be afraid of making mistakes or letting other people down, which makes them more susceptible to the narcissist gaslighting to where they will become dependent on the narcissist. But not all empaths are the same. There are different types of empaths and there is one type of empath that is not susceptible to the narcissist manipulation which is known as a super empath the super empath has the power to destroy the narcissist's ego they have the power to destroy the narcissist's exaggerated sense of self-esteem and self-importance and they do this through the use of their empathy their empathy is a superpower. It is an exceptional and extraordinary ability. Super empaths are sensitive to their surroundings. They are quick to detect or respond to slight changes, signals or influences. They are receptive to and aware of other people's emotions. They are introspective. They may prefer to spend time alone rather than often being with other people. They are intuitive, but they are also easily overwhelmed. They are easily taken advantage of. Because they are willing to put the needs or wishes of other people before their own. They have strong beliefs of what is right and wrong and these beliefs are adopted right from their childhood. They're very honest. They're truthful and sincere. But while they may seem naive and easily manipulated, they're not so willing to accept what other people do. Their self-love confuses the narcissist. 
it catches them off guard because they realize that their insults are not working. They cannot devalue the super empath. The super empath uses their empathic superpowers to defeat even the most deceitful and scheming narcissists. Narcissists are masters of manipulation. They know how to lure in kind and trust in people, but sometimes they target the wrong empath. Sometimes they target someone who is stronger than them, someone who still knows who they are. Underneath all of the brainwashing, which will eventually cause any narcissist to collapse. But narcissists are still dangerous and they can cause harm to you. If you try to get revenge on the narcissist, it will only give them more supply. When you're trying to prove them wrong, you're still giving them attention. And that's all that matters to them. That's what they live for. So if you believe that you are a super empath, don't use your powers to hurt the narcissist. Use it only to escape them. As a super empath, you need to use your intuition to detect when you are being manipulated. Whenever you experience an unnatural state, you should know that something is wrong. As a super empath, you may have high self-esteem and self-worth and a strong sense of identity. Your strong sense of self is what will protect you from the narcissist gaslighting. The narcissist will say you're wrong or crazy. But you need to hold on to your reality. Because that is what will eventually reveal the narcissist's true nature. You will end up driving the narcissist crazy. The narcissist can only survive emotionally if they can get you to doubt your reality. That's what allows them to sustain their false existence. Narcissists do not care about your accomplishments. If they see or hear anything about it, they will ignore it or devalue it. They only remember the faults and mistakes that you have made. While the super empath genuinely cares, they will listen to the narcissist, even if their stories are full of lies. They remember everything. They remember the good and the bad. Which makes it very easy for them to turn the tables on the narcissist by humiliating them. Humiliation is one of the narcissist's greatest weaknesses. A super empath will not go out of their way to hurt someone. They will not go out of their way to humiliate the narcissist. But they will do it out of necessity to protect or defend themselves. Super empaths can often seem very innocent, which makes them seem like easy targets for narcissists. The narcissist may enter the relationship believing that they are going to destroy the empath. But super empaths do not like it when someone does something wrong to them. They may be kind and forgiving. They may be caring and protecting. But that's only until 
someone opposes them. And then they're not afraid to demand justice because they believe in fairness. They may often imitate the narcissist's behavior in order to defeat them, which is very easy for them to do since they've already learned from the best. But super empaths are still very unlike narcissists. They won't avoid giving a definite answer or position. They won't avoid getting to the point of an issue. They won't play games with a narcissist. The narcissist will try to ruin the super empath's reputation by sharing the secrets to keep them dependent, to make them need the support of the narcissist but before the narcissist is able to do that, the super empath will share their secrets first. They may feel guilt or shame for doing that, but they understand that it is necessary to take the narcissist's power away, which will then destroy the narcissist. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.